beautiful life. สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon and welcome to a beautiful life on EnglishOnline.rmutp.ac.th. My name is Ajahn Kasem Kasem Puerto r i n g s i your host for the program. A beautiful life is a program broadcast every Monday from 1 p.m. to 1:30 p.m. a r e c o r d s and information about life lesson or good phrases from the books or website will be presented in this program, together with the latest news from l a c h o m o n g k o n University of Technology p r a n a k o n for you to enjoy. Today we start with the article from China News Asia. The first one they say Tokyo residents require more motivation to relocate. A Japanese policy offering 1 million yen per child to families who relocate from Greater Tokyo to rural areas has so far failed to make a significant impact on population trends. University of British Columbia's Uno Kakekawa looks at the challenges the government faces. Uno Kakekawa reported from Vancouver. In April 2023, the Japanese government introduced a new policy offering 1 million yen, or about 6,770 US dollar per child, to families who move out of Greater Tokyo and relocate to rural areas of Japan. As part of Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's Garden City Nation Project, the initiative is a response to Japan's challenges with urbanization in city centers and declining population and fertility rates as the country attempts to reverse its demographic decline. This new policy comes. On top of existing relocation support incentives, which provide a subsidy of 1 million yen for individuals working in local areas and an additional 2 million yen for starting a new business, totally to a 3 million yen handout per participant. Officials hope that the catch payout will encourage. 10,000 people to move outside of Greater Tokyo by 2027 and relieve demographic pressure on the metropolis of 37 million. But six months into the initiative, population trends show no significant developments. Since April 2023, a decreasing number of people. Are moving out of Greater Tokyo. In June 2023, 70,054 people left Greater Tokyo, compared to 56, uh, compared to 65,568 people during the same time in 2022, out of the 47 prefectures. 45 experienced a, a decline in incoming residents in June 2023. While the Garden City Nation project may have alleviated the decline in creation in certain perfections, it raised a crucial question: Why implement an ineffective policy in the first place? Struggle with employment. The ineffectiveness of the policy may stem from struggled flying employment to receive the monetary benefits. At least one person in the household must start a new business in a new town, get a job at a small or medium-sized company, or continue their previous job remotely. This poses challenges for many families. Given that the employment structure of Japan is based on in-person labor and concentrate career opportunities in Tokyo, 
subsidizing people to move away from the capital is counterintuitive to the overarching goals of the policy. Kishida's commitment to active balanced economic development nationwide functions has a political gesture for rural communities rather than a, a pragmatic strategy addressing the genuine needs of the Japanese workforce. It is difficult for both people in a household to find employment while maintaining a comparable standard of living. The average monthly income in Tokyo in 2022 was 375,500 yen compared to 247,600 yen in Aomori Prefecture, the lower, the lowest of all perfection in Japan. Though the one million, one million yen can be used to compensate for reduced incomes, the monetary handout is oftentimes used up quickly. Considering relocating, uh, considering relocation courts, finding a new home, and enrolling children in schools and educational program. Another reason why the policy appears to be ineffective may derive from requirements for families to live in the town for five years, or they have to pay the money back. Though this requirement aims to foster long-term commitment to regional development, this rule acts as a deterrent of families to use the initiative in the first place. The lack of flexibility it makes it difficult for families to return to Tokyo if they lose their jobs or need to return for personal emergency. Despite challenges, positive trends and developments have occurred, notably in Okinawa, Okinawa has consistently attracted a growing number of new residents. Each month since the start of the 2023 fiscal year, with the exception of August 2023, which may be influenced by Typhoon Kanun and the school holiday season. From April to September 2023, Okinawa saw a 400 and 24% increase of incoming residents compared to 2022. Okinawa, the pre lines in its warm climate, abundance of nature and slower pace of life, a combination that attracts those who are tired of bustling city life, though other prefectures in Japan offer similar lifestyle, Okinawa stands out as a positive outlier, presenting a unique geographical and cultural allure that other prefectures may find difficult to replicate. Shift in culture preferences. A shift in cultural preference is taking root within the Japanese population. The Furusato Kaiki Chaisen Center, a nonprofit organization in Tokyo dedicated to supporting individuals interested in relocating to rural areas, witnesses a surge in engagement in the past few years. In 2021, the center received 49,514 consultations through emails phone call seminars, and one-to-one -one session. This figure notably increased by 29% in 2022, with individuals in their 20s and 40s constituting 70% of the consultations. This growing interest reflects a changing mindset, a growing desire to achieve a better work-life balance contribute to their local communities and embrace a more organic lifestyle. This shift in public opinion holds 
promotes for the Japanese government's relocation policies and may provide the extra push for families to take the first step out of Tokyo. For the relocation policy to unlock its full potential, a more announced approach is required. Since economic barriers act as the biggest obstacle for both relocation and family expansion, the Japanese government should provide a monthly allowance of 50,000 yen per child on top of the upfront 1 million yen payout. The 50,000 yen comes from the average monthly cost of raising a child, 45,000 and 306 yen per month. Not only would this monthly support cover the monthly expenses associated with child care, child care but would also serve as a catalyst for parents to invest more in their children's human capital. Embedding tax breaks, providing extension job placement support by promoting remote work opportunities will be crucial by alleviating financial strains and reshaping the corporate structure of Tokyo. This would create an environment conducts, conducive to rural development. As interest in relocation out of the capital remains high, it is imperative to recalibrate the policy to align with the evolving needs of the Japanese population. Uno Kakekawa is a research fellow in the Center for Japanese Research at the University of British Columbia. This commentary first appeared on East Asia Forum. Next, from China News Asia, they say, anger, sadness, boredom, anxiety, emotions that feel bad can be useful. Emotions are not uniformly good or bad for people, say a Texas A&M University psychology, psychology professor Heather Lynch reported from College Station, Texas. Remember the sadness that came with the last time you fell miserably at something? Or the last time you were so anxious about an upcoming event that you could not concentrate for days? These types of emotions are unpleasant to experience and can even feel overwhelming. People often try to avoid them, suppress them, or ignore them. In fact, in psychology experiments, people will pay money to not feel many negative emotions. But recent research is revealing that emotions can be useful and even negative feelings can bring benefits. In Heather Lynch Emotion Science Labs at Texas A&M University, they study emotions like anger, boredom, affect people, and they explore ways that this feeling can be beneficial. They share the results so people can learn how to use their emotion to build the lives they want. The studies and many others have shown that emotions are not uniformly good or bad for people. Instead, different emotions can result in better outcomes in particular types of situations. Emotions seem to function like a Swiss knife uh, uh, emotion seems to function like a Swiss army knife. Different emotional tools are helpful in specific situations. Sadness can help you recover from a failure. Sadness occurs when people perceive that they are lost a goal or desired outcome. And there's nothing they can do to improve the situation. It could be getting cream in a game or failing a class or work project, or it can be losing a relationship with a family member. 
once evoked sadness is associated with what psychologists call a deactivation state of doing little without much behavior or physical arousal sadness also brings thinking that is more detailed and analytical to it makes you stop and think the benefit of the stopping and thinking that comes with such need is that is it help people recover from failure when you fail that typically means the situation you are in is not conducive to success instead of just charging ahead in this type of scenario sadness prompts people to step back and evaluate what is happening when people are sad they process information in a deliberative analytical way and want to avoid risks this mode comes with more accurate memory judgment that is less influenced by irrelevant assumptions or information and better detection of other people lying these cognitive changes can encourage people to understand past failures and possibly prevent future ones sadness can function differently when there are when there is the possibility that the failure could be avoided if other people help in these situations people tend to cry and can experience increased physiological socio arousal such as a quicker heart and breath rates expressing sadness though through tears overly has the benefit of potentially recruiting other people to help you achieve your goals this behavior appears to start in in infants with tears and cries signally caregiver to help anger prepare you to overcome an obstacle anger occur when people perceive they are losing a goal or desired outcome but that they could improve the situation by removing something that is in their way the obstacle could be an injustice committed by another person or it could be a computer that re repeatedly crashed while you are trying to get work done once you worked it anger is associated with a readiness for action and you are thinking focuses on the obstacle the benefit of being prepared for action and focused on what in your way is that it motivates you to overcome what standing between you and your goal when people are angry they process information and make judgment rapidly want to take action and are uh, psychologically aroused in experiments anger actually increased the forces of people kick which can be helpful in physical encounter anger results in better outcomes in situation that involve challenges to goals including confrontational games tricky puzzle video games with obstacles and respond and responding quickly on task expressing anger facially or verbally has the benefit of prompting other people to clear the way people are more likely to concede in negotiations and give in an uh, on issue when their adversary looks or says they are angry and so i see how people or help you prepare for danger and so i see occur when people perceive a potential threat this could be giving a speech to a large audience where failure would put your self esteem on the line or it could be a physical threat to yourself or loved one 
once evoked anxiety is associated with being prepared to respond to danger, including increased physical arousal and attention to threats or risks. Being prepared for danger means that if trouble brews, you can respond quickly to prevent or avoid them. When anxiety people detect threats rapidly, have fast reaction times, and are on heightened alert, they are wide, they are wide widening, and often comes with fear and anxiety. Even give people a wider field of vision and improve threat detection. Anxiety prepares the body for action, which improve. Performance on a number of tasks and involve motivation and attention. It motivates people to prepare for upcoming events, such as devoting time to study for an exam. Anxiety also prompts protection behavior, which can help prevent the potential threat from becoming a reality. Boredom can jolt you out of a rut. There is less research on boredom than many other emotions, so it is not as well understood. Researcher debate what is, and what is then. Boredom appears to occur when someone's current situation is not causing any other emotion response. There are three situations where this lack can occur: when emotion fades, such as. The happiness of a new car fading to neutral when people don't care about anything in their current situation, such as being at a large party where nothing interesting is happening, or when people have no goals. Boredom does not necessarily set in just because nothing is happening. Someone with a goal of relaxation might feel. Quite content, sitting quietly, with no stimul stimulation. Psychological researchers think that the benefit of boredom in situations where people are not responding emotionally is that is that it prompts making a change. If nothing in your current situation is worth responding to, the aversive experience. Of boredom can motivate you to seek new situations or change the way you are thinking. Boredom has been related to more risk seeking, a desire for novelty, and creative thinking. It seems to function like an emotional stick, nudging people out of their current situation to explore and create. Using the toolkit of emotion, people want to be happy. But research is finding that a satisfying and productive productive life includes a mix of positive and negative emotions. Negative emotions, even though they feel bad to experience, can emo can motivate and prepare people for failure, challenges, threats, and exploration. Present or not. Your emotion can help you guide you toward better outcomes. Maybe understanding how they prepare you to handle various situations will help you feel better about feeling bad. Heather Lynch is professor of psychological and at and brain science at the Texas A&M University. This commentary first appeared on. The conversation. So we will take we will take a short break, and we'll be right back after a short break. Beautiful life. You are listening to a beautiful life on EnglishOnline.RMUTP.AC.TH. We are back to the news from Raja m o n g k o n University of Technology, p r a n a k o r ราชมงคล University of Technology พระนคร discusses Jilin International University 
in accepting Chinese students to study at the Faculty of Liberal Arts uh, 3 plus 1 program. Dr. Natwarapon Ratseri Wacharabun, President of Rajamukhan University of Technology, Panakorn, along with Associate Professor Dr. Yutapum, Dean of Faculty of Liberal Arts and the Faculty of Liberal Arts Management team join in to discuss Associate Professor Dr. Thira Ratjapjai Nai, an expert lecturer, Department of Thai Language, Senior Advisor of the International Department, and Ms. Su Wei, Head of the Thai Language Department, Faculty of Eastern Language, Ji Lin, International Study University, People's Republic of China, to discuss bringing Chi Chinese students to study at La Chumongkhon University of Technology, Panakorn. Teaching aspect of the curriculum 3 plus 1 in applied Thai language program. Faculty of Liberal Arts, including discussing the Memorandum of Understanding or MOU and Memorandum of Cooperation or MOA, academic exchanges, exchange of students, personal research, professional training, short term exchange, cultural exchange, and creating experiences abroad for Chinese Thai students and other related areas will continue at Ropi Pat meeting room. Office of the President, Tewe Center on February the 8th, 2024. Jilin University is the largest private university that provides Thai languages. Institu instruction in the People's Republic of China. Which students have a desire to study three languages and want to exposed to a large number of foreign cultures. Therefore, it is consistent with La Chamungkhon University of Technology Panakorn to open the teaching in terms of international college. La Chamungkhon University of Technology Panakorn International College that is ready to accept international students of all faculties. Currently, there are nine courses ready to accept international students from five faculties by the university, ready in terms of location to support international students, be prepared in terms of lecturer and provide teaching and learning for international students. There are faculty members who have expertise in various professional fields and are ready to develop and improve knowledge in the field of expertise to be international in the future. Next, the president gave his blessing and encouragement to the Large Mongkhon University of Technology Panakorn athletes join in winning the 28 Large Mongkhala game, Tonburi, Tanyaburi games. Dr. Natwarapon Ratseri Wacharabun, President of Lachamungkhon University of Technology Panakorn, giving advice to the athletes before participating in the 28th Lachamungkhon University of Technology of Thailand Sport Competition, Tanyaburi Games, which would be held from the 11th until the 17th February 2024 at Lachamungkhon University of Technology Tanyaburi. Patumthani Province, with assistant, with assisting Professor Satha Kang Penkae, assistant lecturer for student affairs, leading a team of elites, trainers, RMUTP star 2024 contestants and band contestants to meet with the president at the D Hall Auditorium, Tewe Center on the February. 8, 2024. This year, there were 185 Lachomongkhon athletes competing in 11 sports, including football, basketball, volleyball, swimming, athletics, beach volleyball, table tennis, futsal, badminton, peitong, and board game. On this occasion, the lecturer present 
prize money and congratulations to students who make the university famous by winning a medal from the 49th University Games of Thailand on non sea game, including Miss Kate Gao Rang Non Po. Faculty of Business Administration, students who receive one bronze medal from the broad sport, Go O Makrom, female person, and Mr. Tawan Tira Rang Sarit, student from the Faculty of Home Economics. Technology received two bronze medals from the Thai Swordmanship Competition in the male two-hand sword category and the male individual sword category. Ms. Ket Gao Rang Non Po, student from the Faculty of Business Administration, she said the board, she said she felt a little excited before competing, but before entering the competition, she had been diligent in practicing continuously after school when competing. They used their own unique techniques for placing their piece, especially carefulness and concentration, to the youngster who want to compare, uh, who want to compete about game. They can consult with the athletes team, and thank to university, thank to all her friends who have given her encouragement. Mr. Tawan Tiora Rangsari, student from the Faculty of Home Economics. Technology, the Thai sort, sortman say he was happy because he did not expect to win the medal this time. But in the past, he had prepared himself continuously by practicing before competing, by dividing time between study and practicing. The strategy used to compete until winning the opponent is to be mindful at all, all times. Take the knowledge you, you have. Use the techniques you have practiced as much as possible. He would like to ask the university to help push this support into La Chomongkhon University of Technology, and they should have some funding to support support clubs. All of you are invited to come and watch Joining, sharing, and sending encouragement to Rajamukhan University of Technology Panakon athletes, ready to follow the results of the competition at Rajamukhan University of Technology Panakon Thailand Sport page, 38 Tanjaburi game. And the time is up for today. A beautiful life. Please join us on every Monday here on EnglishOnline.rmutp.ac.th. Your host has been Ajahn Kasem. You are welcome to subscribe to our channel on englishonline.rmutp.ac.th. Thank you very much for joining our program today and see you again next Monday. สวัสดีครับ. Beautiful Life. 